So before this video begins, I just want to get it out there that it is politically neutral. This does this video is not getting involved with the debates going on at the moment regarding the Go North West strike. It is merely here to inform you as to what's happening and why there's a load of strange buses running around in Manchester on routes. This video will only give you the information, it will not take sides and it is not political in any shape or form. Just wanted to get that out there before this video begins, but without further ado, let's crack on with the video. Hello everybody, I'm Amar Central and welcome to this special video. As you'll probably be aware by now, either watching on social media or other forums, Manchester is currently filled with a load of random buses and coaches running around central Manchester on a load of the bus services. This video is going to tell you what's going on, why that's happening, and going to give you a rough idea of what is basically going on in Manchester at the moment. So we'll start off with the facts, and all of these vehicles have been operating on Go North West services. Go North West emerged after Go Ahead Group took over the first Greater Manchester Queen's Road Manchester Central Depot at the end of 2019 for 11 £11.17 million. Pounds. Since then, the operation has grown. They have branded up their own vehicles. They have launched new branding, route branding schemes, refurbishment plans, and launched the vehicles as part of the Go North West brand. Unfortunately, since then, they have started to make a loss, and in the last 12 months, they made a loss of £1.8 million. Pounds. To ensure that this um, does not continue, Go North West have started to change their driver terms and have been accused of cutting corners. The union has accused them of trying to introduce a fire and rehire scheme on lower pay, and Go North West have turned around and said that this is not true. The current battle at the moment is quite strong and has created quite a feud, with 82% of their bus drivers walking out from Sunday the 28th of February until further notice. That basically means we don't know when they are returning. We don't know when, this, um, for, when these 400 drivers out of about 470 are returning. Basically meaning that Go North West, in order to keep Manchester connected, have hired in a ton of bus operators to cross over the picket line to operate these services while their staff are on strike. In this video, I am going to explain where what operators are operating on these contracts, where they're operating, and show you some of the photos that have been provided to me quite kindly by some of my friends based over in Manchester. So I do hope you enjoy this video. So to get an idea of how big this replacement bus operation is, I must talk you through the network that Go North West currently operates. So as you can see on your screen now is a route map showing all the different services. So going through the list, they have the 17 from Manchester to Rochdale, usually on a frequency of every 10 minutes that is currently operating every 20. Route 18 that runs from the Manchester Royal Infirmary through the city centre to Middleton and Langley, usually again on an every 10 minutes frequency that is operating every 20 minutes throughout the strike. Route 33 from Manchester to Worsley, Routes 41, Middleton, Manchester to Sale, that has recently seen delivery of their new Citaros. Routes 52 and 53, that are the orbits, that run around the city centre, from the Trafford Centre and Cheatham Hill, to Failsworth and Salford Shopping Centre. The X63 is a peak time service that is currently not operating between Manchester, Haywood and Bury. The 67, that runs between Manchester and Caddishhead. Route 93 that runs between Manchester and Presswich. Route 95 that runs between Bury and Salford Shopping Centre. Route 96 that operates between Semister and Manchester. Routes 97 and 98 that both operate the indirect route between Manchester and Bury. Route 100 that operates between Manchester and Warrington with short workings. 
Route 135 that usually operates between Manchester and Bury by the bus depot that's currently operating instead of its usual every eight minutes is operating every 12 minutes at most during this strike period and Route 4 and 5 between Middleton and Oldham. Of these services due to the vehicle shortage Go North West are supplying vehicles for routes 4 and 5, routes 41 and routes 95 and 96 only. The rest of these services are being operated by external companies. So as you will be able to see on your screen now is a selection of vehicles that are currently operating the Go North West services while the strike action takes place. The list of operators running these are, is pretty long and um, as you can see by the variety on your screen there are quite a lot of companies both in Greater Manchester and beyond operating on behalf of Go North West. The list of operators at the moment that is subject to change pending companies having to commit to school services from the 8th of March or other external factors currently consists of Selwyn's, Tyra's, Visions Bus, Bullocks, Bellevue, Red Rose Travel, Traveller's Choice, MP Travel, Regal Way Viking, Atlantic Travel, Monstonian 2000, Coach Travel Solutions, The Big Coach Company in Liverpool and Connections Buses of Harrogate. The latter operator is a questionable one as we're unsure of if the vehicles are on loan to another company or not. However, they have been running around with Connections Bus ticket machines on logged back to that operator. It's also assumed that Howard's, who have purchased a number of B7R release from Go North West, the same ones that Connections Bus are using, are also hiring them out to other companies with a number of them being spotted on the private and um, strike action extras as well. So it's an interesting one at the moment as you can see anything can show up on your service from midi optair solo to a double deck van hull astra mega coach. So it is an interesting fiasco and once again I just want to thank Nick and Colin for allowing me to use their superb photos within this segment as obviously with what's going on we can't travel over there ourselves. So thank you to them. So that's it for this special video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I realise that with everything going on at the moment, obviously with the lockdown malarkey, we can't get over there and usually we'd be over there filming what's going on, having a nose at what's happening, but unfortunately that's not possible at the moment. So I thought I'd put this video together with all the knowledge that I know so that you guys get an idea of what's going on. So when you see these photos you go, ah, that's it, that's what's kicking off. So I would like to thank my good friends Nick and Colin for providing their photographs for the purpose of this video so that we get an idea, a visual idea of what's going on and it can show you a little bit of the chaos that's kicking off. So the questions you're probably asking is when's this going to end and quite honestly we don't know. Um, Go North West have threatened in the newspaper to shut the operation if they don't stop. Meanwhile the Unite Union will not be returning to work unless a settlement and an agreement can be made. So it is currently at a gridlock stage at the moment. That basically means we do not know when they're going to be returning. However, I imagine over the next week or two, as schools return, the pressure will increase with a number of the operators providing extra buses, all having school commitment work um, um, besides um, this operation at the moment. So it will have to, it will be interesting what happens um, over the next few weeks. So we do hope they can sort it out as, as I say it's not the most convenient for passengers however we will have to see and until then it is providing an interesting variety of vehicles on normally quite standard um, bus services. So I would like to thank you all for watching this video and if you have enjoyed it do click the like button so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you have and so I get an idea of what you guys are interested in so I know to do more videos like this. And if you are new to the channel, hello and welcome. Do consider subscribing for more content like this both from the real life bus world and the virtual gaming simulation world. Again I'd like to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video make. Goodbye for now. Bye.